Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a complete full wave bridge rectifier circuit using a breadboard. This circuit is essential for converting AC voltage into DC voltage using just a few simple components. First, you'll need four pieces of 1N4007 diodes. Insert the first two diodes into the breadboard. Make sure to note the orientation. One side of each diode is marked with a silver or white stripe, indicating the cathode side. Now let's insert the third diode into the breadboard, connecting its anode to the cathode of the first diode and its cathode to the cathode of the second diode. This forms one side of the bridge, which directs current in one direction. Next, insert the fourth diode, connecting its anode to the anode of the first diode and its cathode to the anode of the second diode. Now insert two jumper wire into the breadboard to connect the first and fourth diodes and the third and second diode. This completes the bridge formation, which will allow us to rectify both halves of an AC waveform. To test the output of our rectifier, insert an LED into the breadboard, ensuring the negative leg connects to the negative side of the output and the positive leg connects to the positive side. Now, take a 3.7 volt battery as our power source. Connect the negative terminal of the battery to the junction of first and third diodes and connect the positive terminal of the battery to the junction of fourth and second diodes. You'll notice that the LED glows brightly when connected to the circuit, indicating that the diodes are rectifying the current. Now let's reverse the polarity of the battery by switching the positive and negative terminals. The LED still glows. This demonstrates the full wave rectification feature of the bridge rectifier, allowing current to pass through during both halves of an AC signal. This simple project not only shows the basic working principle of a full wave bridge rectifier, but also helps you understand how to build and test it on a breadboard. It's an essential skill for any electronics enthusiast looking to learn about power supplies and rectification.